You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the clock cleaners podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing a recap of uh, SmackDown Live from January 23rd. Yeah. The right, uh, today's Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. The official... Uh, go home show to yeah Rumble. that's that it that's at? where i was uh, uh, that's that's it <laughs> i was gonna say the road to wrestlemania and i was like wait a second that's not right yeah that's on sunday that's not right nope so yeah smackdown happened it's true as it does every week mm-hmm. um sometimes it's better not to happen but you know they keep on trucking <sighs> yeah that is true and we can hold hope that uh things change after the rumble yeah, I know, but like you said last week when I said there's hope, there's really not a whole lot of hope. <laughs> um, well, if if this main storyline has a big payoff, then... Yeah, but it's still hard to see where they're actually going with it. It's true, and there's a possibility they don't know where they're going with it. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Maybe they're usually. buying time with this whole Daniel Bryan thing, getting cleared to wrestle and all that other stuff. It's possible. I mean... Hell, we could see this go on to SummerSlam. No, I'm just kidding. What do you mean, just kidding? <laughs> it could. I guess that's Why true. couldn't they do this for a year? I don't know. I can tell you why they shouldn't do no, it. No, there's year. lots of reasons why they shouldn't, but I definitely can see them doing it. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> anyway, let's get into this nonsense. Yeah. All right, so uh, the show opens. Sammy and Kevin Owens come out. Mm-hmm. Um, they basically say that they will win at the Rumble and be the first ever co-world champions. Yep. Um, and then to add insult to injury, they're not only going to beat AJ Styles, they're going to hurt him too. <coughs> Dangerous then, characters. Yeah. And at this point, AJ comes out mm-hmm. and, uh, he, he does the, inst- cause, cause Kevin and Sammy do the, the yep thing. Mm-hmm. He just names a bunch of things and says, nope. nope. Like you're not going to win at the rumble. Nope. nope. Or stuff, something like that. Um, <coughs> and, uh. And then he says he's going to win at the Rumble, obviously, on Sunday. Yeah. Um, Sammy calls him predictable, says he knew he was going to say all those things because mm-hmm. um, he read the script, too. Um, <laughs> Is that how it went, Matt? Yeah. Um, they they show, like, a clip of AJ saying something about... I, I think the first clip they showed was him saying that, why don't you might as well just make it a handicap match. Yes, yeah, yeah. First was that, and yeah. then the second clip was when he was sitting with Renee. Yeah, yeah, and he said that I could beat them both in the same night. Mm-hmm. And then Sammy goes, well, why don't you do that? Right. And you can face me and Kevin in separate matches mm-hmm. tonight. And uh, <clears throat> AJ, um, what did he say that... Uh, He's like, I could do that, no problem, basically. Right. Yeah, yeah, Does Daniel much. Bryan come out before AJ I thought he AJ came responds? out before that. Yeah. Okay, that's what happens. <clears throat> and AJ, before Bryan can really say anything, he mm-hmm. cuts him off and says, yeah. I know what you're going to do anyway, right. so I might as well accept so, the match now. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then... Then we go backstage, and Daniel Bryan and Shane are back there, and Shane complains that, about AJ's match against both Kevin and then Sammy. Yes couple days before the Royal Rumble, mm-hmm. where he has to fight both of them anyway. Yeah. And then Daniel Bryan says, well, I wasn't going to make that match anyway. Mm-hmm. And then Daniel Bryan is then asks if Shane is questioning AJ's ability to face them both. And mm-hmm. then Shane says, no, I'm questioning someone else's ability. Yeah. Obviously meaning Daniel Bryan. That's not nice. <clears throat> That's Shane. Yeah. <clears throat> he, he, it's... He's much better off taking stunners. It's true. <laughs> um, we, we've said this before. He's the bad guy in the good guy's role, or the good guy in the bad guy's role. Well, I mean, I don't even think that uh, Sammy and Owens are really in the good guy's role anymore, you know? Well, I they, mean, they've, it's all... Perception? I guess. <laughs> it's, no one, no one's the good guy here. That's really what they're getting at. Yeah. Not even AJ. Well, especially after the match. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's, it's very strange. It's... It's because a lot of the time, well, let's just keep spinning this thing around. Realistically, this is how it should always be. Where nobody is the true bad guy, good good guy. guy. Yeah, but more more often than not, it's they have two good guys face each other, and there's no clear bad guy. Your your whole point is to have two people that 
end up one person comes out favored and then one person comes out disliked. well i know i know that yeah, yeah, yeah but, no, i know I'm, I'm but generally saying. speaking that's the way that they start things off <clears throat> right right is that there's no clear like bad guy whereas mm-hmm. here there's no clear good guy so it's just this is how you would think a, a competitive uh sporting thing would right. be no matter what is that everyone's always trying to do what's best for them. For them. Yeah. So going into business for themselves. While this is strange for WWE, it mm. is technically a very realistic Yeah. I guess yeah, no, it's true. vibe at the very least. It's true. So, uh, sure. so can't yeah. have realism in the WWE. It's true. Come well that's what, that's that's kind of my whole point. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So uh, up after that, we yep. have the first match of the night, mm-hmm. which is Jay Uso versus Chad Gable. I, I thought this was a good little match here. I fell asleep during this match. Um. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is funny because uh, I was watching it, and then all of a sudden I woke up, and it was the, the Commercial. backstage segment. Oh, movie. okay. <laughs> um, I felt like they were able to capture kind of the tag team wrestling. You know how they have, kind of have a quick back and forth mm-hmm. and – into a singles match so it was it was good you had a little bit of interference uh i know one part i think chad gable was chasing jimmy on the outside and then jay jumped through the ring and hit him with a suicide dive it, it was it was a decent little match here mm-hmm. um but yeah eventually chad gable goes over with the uh was it north did he hit northern lights or was it a it was a bridge, bridge german suplex sure, that's okay. I, I watched the the, the highlights replay? oh okay afterwards but yeah <clears throat> but yeah that, that's what uh the finish was yeah this is more or less a filler match it's true yeah well you you, you kind of have to bridge the gap because you got to remember that there was supposed to be a uh semi-finals u.s title mm, match tonight that's I think. true so which is I, I don't understand why they didn't just make the finals this week but whatever anyway so up next we have uh backstage renee young asked shinsuke about his chances in the rumble mm-hmm um and <laughs> what happens knee to the face yeah number says that two knee to the face everyone's Third getting a knee to the face, to the face. <clears throat> and yeah. then uh corbin comes over and says that he's gonna win because mm-hmm. the royal rumble is his kind of match yeah because it's one against everybody <clears throat> and then uh shinsuke challenges us to a match <clears throat> uh to happen later on tonight yeah and corbin accepts i guess i was not happy seeing i was like oh we got this feud already we don't need another match between these two eh, the match wasn't bad though i was so. gonna say it's been long enough and everything so i know it just feels like the smackdown roster is it's just thin. so thin it is thin but why because they don't have enough time that's they, bullshit though they put more people on raw because they don't have enough time on smackdown <sighs> But JVL said the cruiserweights take up an hour of raw. <laughs> we know uh, not to listen to that, man. I know it's just it was a bad joke. As Booker T. Yeah, and Mr. Rosenberg, right? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> All right, moving on. Yeah, well, we got a backstage video, yeah, much okay. like last week of the women entering the Rumble. Then we got Ty Dillinger saying they were, he was going to enter into the Rumble, mm-hmm. and his little selfie video. Mm-hmm. He is a perfect. <laughs> yeah it, it, it was something it was but ty dillinger was on tv so it's gotta have a positive it's, a, it's different yeah all right so uh up next we have uh another match mm-hmm. naomi versus Liv morgan yeah I, I actually thought this match was started to get good yeah, it wasn't a bad match and because like there was a lot of uh countering yeah something strange happened in the middle of the match mm-hmm. where it, um it was natalia um I think it was Carmella, Lana, and then Becky Lynch kind of mm-hmm. just wandered out to ringside. Yep, <laughs> it was very, it was very odd. Yeah, but the the match itself was good because it was more of like Liv Morgan trying to, I guess, keep up with Naomi. Yeah, no, no, Liv looked good in the match. Yeah, this is the first time on the main roster she's really looked. Uh, I think it's like her she... only singles match she's had. Yeah. So, but even in the tag matches, she's kind of gotten tossed yeah. around. But a lot of the times, well, a she was up against Charlotte last week a lot. That was True. like the large majority of the first part of the match, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, because Ruby's done most of the singles matches. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is correct. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I think this was her first real shot to shine because mm-hmm. obviously she's not going to be made to look good against Charlotte. No. 
or Becky, really. So I think Naomi was her only shot anyway. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, like you said, it wasn't a bad match. Um, so a yeah, uh, strange finish. Yeah, Naomi ended up hitting, jumping over the rope and hitting a sunset flip. It was, on... it was cool. Yeah, it was a nice spot. Yeah. It looked good. But it's just not a normal finish to a match. Mm-mm. We've been seeing a lot of that lately. Yeah. Um, but if she hits the sunset flip, like you said, over the top rope. Mm-hmm. She, a lot of height on that. Yeah. Um, and then uh, she pins her. Mm-hmm. Um, after the match, the Riot Squad tries to jump Naomi. Yep. Uh, and then everybody starts fighting because yep. everybody was already at ringside, mm-hmm. although I'm not sure if they were supposed to be at that time. Because I, it, I kind of lost interest once everybody came out. It was just like, it was all over the place. Like, wait, why? Raw did something to build to the Royal Rumble? All right, that's it. We're doing it, too. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened. They all started throwing each other out of the ring. Um, I think it was Becky who tried to throw out Naomi, mm-hmm. but and Naomi wasn't landed on the apron. Yeah, mm. and then that's when Charlotte came out. Mm-hmm. And she just said a, that I like I like fire. your spirit, Be- Becky, and the fire in you, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. and she said that um, the friends don't matter at the Royal Rumble. It's true. And uh, uh, good luck to all of you, and then especially good luck to the one who wins the Rumble. You're gonna need it to face me at the WrestleMania. They didn't really push that this year. What? Usually they always push that, that, you know, the friends don't matter at the Royal Rumble and stuff like that. I don't think there's a whole lot of people who are going to be in the Rumble that are teammates. I guess that's true. Like, I mean, the men's, what do you have? The New Day? The New Day are, but they're never going to yeah. have conflict. Corbin, not Corbin, uh, Rusev and Aiden English. Yeah, but they're too new to yeah. have that be a thing. Mm-hmm. Um, And then you have uh, Titus Worldwide. Mm-hmm. Again, to... Too much of a team to have the potential, potential for conflict. Yeah. yeah, I guess that's true. Because um, like <laughs> if J- uh, Jason Jordan and Seth Rollins were in it, you could say that. Yeah. Um, if uh, there's not a whole lot of th- they've just been so like teams have to be solid right. lately. So like Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, if they were together but not mm. feuding with AJ, that would be a thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. But there's not a whole lot of. Like that loose team structure that Shinsuke and Randy had. Yeah. That would oh, be yeah, a thing. Yeah, yeah. But That's obviously true. Randy has made it f- uh, very clear that he's only interested in himself. Sure. Like he said a couple weeks ago. Yeah. So. But, uh, well, like we said earlier in our Raw recap, that they are building to two Rumbles this year. So there's a lot more that has to be done. It's true. But. So up next, we have the Shinsuke Nakamura versus Baron Corbin match. Yes. Um, yeah, this was a, a decent match up here. Yeah. Um, it wasn't the same Baron Corbin that we got the last time. Yeah. That, that is very it, true. It was also a little more of a, uh, I guess, comfortable Shinsuke. Mm-hmm. Because... The, the <clears throat> match, it was a pretty even match. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a couple of good spots, like when uh, Corbin hit Shinsuke with that clothesline and, uh, and oh, Shinsuke flipped. flipped. Over? Yeah. Yeah. And that, was, then, that was a little rough. And then Baron hit the yeah, the deep six. Mm-hmm. I forget what he reversed into the deep six. It wasn't a Kinshasa. No, was... I think he was just... Was he trying to put him in, like, the arm bar? Oh, wait, when he went for the triangle? Yeah. Yeah, maybe that was it. it was. Yeah. Um, and then... Uh... <laughs> Shinsuke had him set up for the Kinshasa, and then all of a sudden... Out of nowhere. Actually out of nowhere. Yeah. Randy Orton hit an RKO. Yeah, it was a pretty good spot. Yeah, the, ca- the camera was set up perfectly. Or it was just focusing on Shinsuke. And the best part is that that's how they always had the camera. Mm-hmm. They didn't do something strange. Right, right. Yeah, it just it just had happened to work Cause, that way. Because there's times when you just, you're watching, and it's like, why is it focused like mm-hmm. that? And then it ends up being obvious that, oh, it, they're yeah. trying to make it so you don't see stuff. Yeah, and, and this, the crowd didn't really give it away either. No, so he no, must no, have done yeah. a really good uh, job. You started seeing people get up, but I thought I figured maybe that was something in the audience. Mm-hmm. So it's always good when they're able to make it mm-hmm. not obvious. Yeah. So, so then, yeah, Shinsuke gets uh, an RKO, and mm-hmm. then Corbin. I think he he tries, tries to yeah beat up Orton, and then Orton hits him with an RKO he as was well. Unsuccessful. Mm-hmm. All right. So this was that was that was cool. Mm-hmm. That was definitely a good good yeah. spot. And this match didn't need a finish. And mm-hmm. it built more to Randy Orton's me against the world right. thing, which that's is true. good because that's a story that they could mm-hmm. use during the Rumble. Right. And uh, so. Yeah. 
Good so, yeah. stuff. So up next, we have the six-man tag match that was announced earlier in the night mm-hmm. of the New Day and Bobby Roode versus Jinder and Rusev Day. Yes. Even though last week we heard that it was supposed to be Rusev Day versus the Ascension. Um, did you watch the Fashion Files? I did not. Okay. So, because they, did, they didn't even do a they, preview. They didn't. It just came yeah. up on uh, the, the website. Mm. So I watched it. Mm. They did another training montage. Uh-huh. And... <laughs> At the end of it, the, they say that you're not ready for a receptor. Uh, no, <laughs> the, the fashion police go. It's like, oh yeah, we kind of just made up the end of match. <laughs> do, we, do we look like we have the power to just make matches? It was pretty fair funny. enough. It was pretty funny. Okay, so the ascension so that, that, was ready, but yeah, I guess I guess that makes sense because no, didn't they play that part where they would have a match next week on SmackDown, or was that part of the? That was part of the thing. Where they said that they'll face the Rusev Day. Right, but that was shown on SmackDown. It wasn't yeah. from... Yeah, yeah. So I don't know funny. why you would do that and then... No, it's hilarious because they they just said that they made a match. I realize that. But generally when those things happen... <laughs> that is true. Happens. Usually. Yeah. But it's funny that they did that. Mm. I kind of wish that they had, you know, played this on SmackDown. Right. Because that would make more sense. Absolutely. Instead of them just not showing up. I want you guys to watch all, all of our content. But then when it doesn't line up... Yeah. You know. Don't complain. Yeah, because I had no idea there was even a fashion files this week. Yeah, I, I just was looking at the website. I yeah. was I was actually waiting for them to post the results ah. of uh, Jay versus Gable oh, so I could <laughs> break down what was the finish. Fair enough. And that popped up, so I watched it. Yeah. But, but anyway, yeah, uh, the new day was Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods mm-hmm. because Big E was in the mixed match challenge later on tonight with Carmella against The Miz and Oscar. Yes. Uh, anyway, so oh yeah, the, before the match, the nudity comes out and it says that they will if they're officially entering entering the Royal Rumble, mm-hmm. um, and then Bobby Roode comes out and says that his U.S. title reign will be glorious. Yeah, which is a shock. Yeah, because the New Day had a fuck uh, a couple of things to say mm-hmm. before that. Yeah, that was you know. Well, they're trying to figure out what yeah the what word he was to gonna use. say. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, but yeah. So, what did you think of this match? Uh, I thought it was decent. Um, I always like the banter between Corey Graves, Corey Graves and, Biggie and Biggie when he's yeah. throwing pancakes mm-hmm. at him. Especially when they dumped the pancakes on the guy with the Bullet Club shirt, and then he tried feeding it back to uh, <laughs> Big E, I think it was. He did not take them, no. as the fans normally do. But yeah, no, it wasn't wasn't bad here. No. Nothing nothing special. Well, you know. Uh, Jinder is one Singh brotherless um yeah that's a- kind ACL of acl tear something like sure. that sure yeah no, no, no. it doesn't matter they're both interchangeable and pointless now you sound like gender when you turned on that that's fine um, <laughs> yeah somebody's got to be the jerk i guess so mm-hmm. but, but yeah uh, woods eventually got the win after hitting his elbow drop onto aiden english yeah it's always weird not having big e in a match or with it in a well, new day match because yeah, yeah. that's where their finishers are <laughs> oh that's true he sets yeah, yeah, them yeah. up <laughs> otherwise it's just the elbow or a trouble in paradise yeah, yeah the big ending sets up something <laughs> mm-hmm. um but yeah nah, not much to say about this it's yeah, it's just a filler match, match. Yeah, yeah exactly um so up next we have and the f- I, wow they didn't give rusev or aiden english any time before the match right not that i know i of, don't think no. so because the new day came out first yeah the right? new day yeah. came out first yeah. Um, I think that was pretty much just uh, a face heavy. Yeah, thing. or if they're trying to uh, cut down on the Rusev Day stuff. Honestly, wouldn't be surprised because you know yeah. if it's getting over, obviously we don't. No, want to push no, it. no. All right. So uh, up next we have the first of our two main mm-hmm. events. I guess we could say. Yeah, I guess. AJ so. Styles versus Kevin Owens. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Before the match starts, or I guess should say, as Kevin's coming out, he has Sami Zayn with him. Yep. Uh, Shane comes out immediately afterwards, says, Sami Zayn, you might as well en- go to the back right now because if you get involved in this match at all, you will you be fired. fired. Um, and mm-hmm. so he says the same goes for Kevin Owens during Sami's match. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, AJ ends up beating Kevin Owens right away. Yeah. He, he, what, he taps what out to the calf to pressure. Owens' knee or leg? at first um, something set it up 
If I think it? he went for a cannonball. Oh, that's right. And AJ and, moved out of the way and, and hit, he it hit it on the middle his, rope. Yeah. With the turnbuckle. And that's where he hurt his knee. Right. And then uh, AJ hits the calf crusher on him, and mm-hmm. then he taps out pretty much right away. Right away, yeah. So Owens was selling the knee, laying outside the for, ring. For quite some time. <clears throat> oh, yeah. So I think the first match started at like 9.35, something like that. And it was he, over he, like he 9.37. Was, yeah. He was, uh, he was outside of the ring laying down for like mm-hmm. 15 minutes. Yeah. Uh, so yeah he went to the outside and then would sammy come out from the crowd well he uh asia wouldn't let go oh yeah that's right he wouldn't let go of the calf crusher Mm -hmm. so sammy came out from the ramp it was the ramp and then he attacked aj Mm -hmm. got Mm -hmm. him got owens out of the ring right and he continued to beat Beat aj AJ. threw him into the steps yeah flipped over went back in the ring and then they cut the commercial yeah i was gonna say they cut the commercial the match hadn't started yet yep they come back from commercial they're in separate corners, and the match <clears throat> finally starts. Right, and at um, this point, you started to have EMTs come out and check on Owens. Yeah, there's referees, there are medical staff. Mm. They're trying to get him on a stretcher. Yeah. It took him a very long time to get him on the stretcher. Finally, Worst EMTs ever. Yeah, finally, they get him on the stretcher. Well, AJ hit him once while he was down. Yes, but yeah. that was before he got on the stretcher. Yeah, the yeah, first yeah, time. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, they... They get him on the stretcher and then they start to get him, uh, start to bring him up. Um, I think Sami Zayn was on the outside. AJ hit him with a phenomenal forearm on mm-hmm. the outside. Right. Mm-hmm. Sami's down. He walks over to Kevin Owens, flips, flips over the it. stretcher. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. And then they battled back into the ring. Mm-hmm. Uh, AJ was in the corner. Sam- well, actually, no. What happened was. Um, uh, Sammy had just gone back into the ring while oh he, while he was oh, beaten while okay. Owens was distracting That's right. I guess yeah. AJ AJ comes back into the ring yeah. as he stands up he gets hit with the Haluva kick ah and then he hits the Blue Thunder bomb and gets I think it was the Blue Thunder yeah, bomb yeah, yeah. and then he pins him yep so and uh so yeah that was that. Sammy Zayn pinned uh, AJ Styles clean yeah well I guess as clean as you want to. Well, it was technically there was no clean. interference um, on his Sami Zayn's part. part. Yes. So that's as clean that's as true. you can really get. Um, so you think this whole injury thing is supposed to play a, a part in the match? Well, it could be an excuse to have Owens not in the match, if that's what you mean. And Sami thinks that he deserves a title shot because he pinned him on SmackDown? Well, in all fairness, there's no reason why they just don't make it a singles match. No, I know, but I mean, that's the way you build it up, because Sami won clean, so he says, I deserve a title shot if Kevin can't, you know? So you think that'll happen on, like, the pre-show? What, the title match? No. Oh, oh that I'm talking that, about. This it. interaction yeah. you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Because obviously it can't happen before then. It's true. So, that's possible. Yeah, it was just like when they entered Ty Dillinger into the U.S. title match. Yeah, it, it happened on the pre-show. Pre-show. Um, um, I guess so. I don't know. I, I, because, I mean, what I've heard recently is that they pulled Owens off of live events because of, I guess, nagging injuries he was dealing with, which mm-hmm. is why I haven't seen Jason Jordan wrestling as well, because he's been dealing with some sort of injury as well. Mm-hmm. But that wouldn't be out of the realm of possibilities. And honestly, the WWE title is not really... Important on the night of the Royal Rumble? Yeah. It hasn't been hyped up like the Universal title. Mm-hmm. Like the Royal Rumbles. Yeah. It's, yeah, the fourth... It's highest true. out of the four matches well yeah it's true um well uh, yeah i guess i mean that's fourth part out of the six i meant the world title, yeah, yeah, yeah. the big matches yeah. but i i think that's completely on Fine. smackdown oh for their lack of yes because the Ooh. shane mcmahon and kevin owens feud has taken precedence right. over the title it's i mean true. honestly if owens and sammy did win the match mm-hmm. i mean they're just it's, gonna lose the title. Yeah, it, it's just gonna anyway. turn into Kevin and verse Sammy again. Yeah. And you know, and no matter what, it's not gonna be either of them against someone at WrestleMania. No, absolutely not. So, and Raw's pay per view is the Elimination Chamber. Yeah. So that that one's pretty much uh, a lock yeah. on what's going on on Raw. That's true. So anyway, yeah, that was SmackDown. Yep. So if you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.